Hello. So in this video, we'll be seeing about the CLI commands on the job engine. So we'll start with easy job jobs list. So this will list all the jobs that are currently running, and this will show you the uh, job type, job ID, state, impact, all those things. So now let's try to uh, run a job and check all these things. So I'm just going to run a job named FS analyst. So easy job start FS analyst. So the job has been started and the job ID here is 62. So just the job jobs list. So here you can see the job ID is showing and type state running low and face. So the face is 2 by 10. So that means there are 10 faces available in which the second face is currently running. And now let's try to pause this job. You see job pause and just go with the job ID. The job ID is 2. So now the job is passed. So now let's uh, list the job and it says that user passed. As I have just passed it, so it says user passed. So if it is passed by itself or one of us, then it will show as passed. Now let's see easy job. So here are the options like cancel the job and events so you can check the events job events list those this will list all the events that has been occurred on recent so here are the first analyst uh, events here so it shows end phase begin phase and what is the state so it says a tree walk a change list walk so these are some states inside one particular job and it's showing that and let's see the other options you see job and reports so this will show you all the reports that are available so here are the reports by fs analyst warm q shadow store protect snapshot delete all those things it will show here and let's say check easy job policies list this will list all the available policies. So right now we have four policies, high, low, medium and off hours. And let's try to cancel the job, easy job, cancel and just give the ID of the job. So I'm just going to give ID 62. The job is cancelled. Easy. Let's confirm that easy job jobs list. So now it will not show anything. So Again, I'm going to run this job and to find out the statistics of all these jobs. So for that, go easy job start. And now we'll be giving the FS analyst. So the job has been started now. So now let's check. So there are now the ID of the job is 64. And now let's check the um, uh, statistics of this particular FS analyst job. For that, go with easy job statistics. And list so this will list the statistics of the job running right now so the job running right now is fs analyst job here you can see the cpu usage virtual memory used and physical memory used and the iops so let's try to check it again so here it shows that it has used 10 percent of the cpu and 433.61 mb of the virtual memory so by this you will be able to find out which particular job is using how much number of uh, CPU usage and virtual memory and how much number of IOPS. So all these statistics you will be able to find out using this easy job statistics list command. And for the daemon easy job underscore D. So this job engine will have lots of daemon in which this these, these jobs uh, will be running in the background as a daemon. So each job let's say I have a job called permission repair when I run this job on the back end it will have a daemon running so all these daemons are controlled by this job engine so for each job that will have that will have a daemon on the background so this easy underscore job underscore d is a job daemon and let's check if this is running it says that it's already running and now let's check the other options easy job and here you can see it says that start status so let's check the status 
So here are the status of the job. So it says the job engine is running currently and there are no running or queued jobs and these are the recent finished jobs. So this will show all the recently completed jobs here. So here are the jobs with the job ID and easy job and here you can pass the job and list the job and job types so this will list all the jobs types that are available so here you can see the av scan collect dedup so you can see here whether it is enabled and what is the policy here and uh, here you can see this are come under the medium policy and this will come under the low, low policy smart pool and these are the uh, current list of jobs that are available then let's go to the next easy job so easy job jobs you can cancel list the same thing you'll have it here and here you have a resume you have policies statistics that we saw and you can just view one particular job with a job ID that will give you a detailed report about that particular job so I'm just giving 62 the job ID and it says that user cancelled it and uh, what is the impact what is the policy and wh what time it has started and for how much time this particular job has ran so all those things will show here so that's it for this lecture we'll see you in the next lecture